had this amazing dream about being somewhere in some country and that country obviously exists and it's a very naive dream but it was <coughs> it was a place so in the dream I tell the dream and it's a Saturday today anyway the dream I arrive in a place where people look at me because I am a kind of an outsider. And the outside was called New York. Like it's coming from New York, coming from Austria, coming from another decade, coming from another ideology. Because the host community in the dream, sorry for that, the host community So you see, I have asthma again. The host community, the host community had a, a very, very colorful artist community. And it reminds me Anyway, and I continue with the dream. And they were very colorful. They made art the way art is supposed to look. How is art supposed to look? Well, make a bit of schlemmer. Oscar Schlemmer, half a puppet, half beautiful women, because they all kind of looked very blonde and tall, with a few migrants that were also beautiful, Japanese, Korean, not sure, but actually rather just white. Uh, white, blonde, tall. And they cut the figures a little bit into pieces. Bambole, I mean, uh, tall. Then I had an iPhone, imagine that. Kind of somewhere in the past, somewhere in the present. Then I wanted to film them, to photograph them. Meaning, I kind of did photograph them, film them. And then in the dream, I'm trying to narrate the dream. Just woke up. So then they were posing, dancing with me, and then there was some kind of. And yeah. I slept in that space, I was invited, I slept in the space, everything is there. 
my stuff is there and so on. And I want it to be clean. The one then then while I was like on the dance floor like photographing and chatting with these people. Very contemporary because in the dream I also had a an iPhone with you know clear eyes and not a storage problem. Then I they were like turning around, they made everything themselves, they were like this really artist, help artist, artist is artist, artist, does everything, thing. Very nice. Yeah, and I photographed a little bit. And in the dream, it wasn't really, it was weird geography. And geography was in as far weird as it was not in the Western Bloc. It was in the Eastern Hemisphere of political influence. So it was, but it's, it's kind of, was kind of assumed it was kind of far away. And they were local, they were very helpful with each other. They knew each other. And they also observed each other. They observed also me. Well, I mean, I was definitely older, older than the other ones. Mm -hmm. And in the gallery was all my shit everywhere. A mattress. And there was supposed to be then a kind of an opening, a kind of a performance. Suddenly all my stuff was gone. And I go, oh, all my stuff is there. Where is it now? I look in the toilet, not there. In a dream, I couldn't really find it, but I wasn't concerned. More was concerned, or was much more concerned in the dream about uh, uh, where are the words to film. Does somebody want to say something? But obviously, also, I was interested in making nice pictures. And obviously, the rest, you know, I need to deal with beautiful people. But uh, for not saying much. That's kind of the dream, but it was, the figures were slimmer, definitely. Slimmer, real slimmer, not so real. Anyhow. Now, I give you the whole thing. I mean, the context. So now I was just almost falling asleep again and dreaming. I look up this house uh, facade, facade, house front. I mean, the way a building looks from the front. And I count floors and then I fell also in love with yeah, with beautiful houses always. And anyways, communes and all the shit. So communes. So yesterday I went to Artist Space. I mean it's kind of exaggerated, but I went downtown for whatever reason and and uh somebody says Reiner yeah in 
this time West Broadway I went to I wanted to see my friend Devin. She would not she's back. That was late to couldn't find her. So I looked for her and then I meet these people who just uh, I meet these people from the artist space opening. Not opening but yesterday was the opening and then you know I'm gonna attempt to see the show obviously. And then all these new people but I meet great new people always. Amazing running to them. Then I was just there. And then everything kind of developed me, this person, that person, all the hang around. But the most amazing one I met, who also knew me and said we were together in a show, was Sanborn. That is actually really nice. I remember him. He had a little bit of Parkinson's. Not much. But I saw it. So I chatted with him. We, we knew, we asked him, where did we see? In which show were we together recently or something? I couldn't really, I couldn't really uh, remember neither. But gives me, brings me back memory. Even of shit I should do. Now, like for example, peace. Yeah, but you know who was there also? The amazing French people. Basically, friends I talked to a lot, they took me out. People from MX, people from my last show. And then I got a text, another friend, uh, somebody who worked in a gallery, was doing amazing work. He really is amazing and we walked around in Zoho we walked over east side we walked here we walked there we followed we did this we did that and then meet more artists even those who now get all the stuff because a Danish artist with a Another artist from, again, Puerto Rico. He seems to have had the show. I can't wait to see it. Got Instagram, got addresses again. Well, Masks were not a problem, except, yes, one of the uh, biggest uh, lady, I always like to fight about the food, because in the end I managed to even sit on chairs and talk to them, and I was basically one of the last ones that left again, so I talked my way through, meet more artists, even Danish artists who were terribly, I mean, they are also drunk, obviously, and women and Danish and studied in Vienna with, what the people I went to school, isn't that funny? Ruth, mm -hmm. no, professor, I know this is a professor, last time we met, I mean, we met and suddenly we met in Paris, I was very uh, surprised, she's from Vienna, she was quite a thing, and she really is amazing, boom. Boom. I liked.
this concert because you know boom let's talk about music and then we have here Manhattan Max Planck wow great because there's already so much music in here from above I slept really well I heard sleeping is pretty good and I biked all Manhattan up and down and it was amazing the only thing I didn't really enjoy was somebody again the same people Saying I cannot come. We do this, we do that. We can't come. We go now. Here we go in there. I mean, no, you can come. Wow, nice noise. And they said, yeah, you need to sell the house as if the house is a problem. No. Money is the problem. But. They are people who have galleries. Those are people they promised me and those are the people I talk the most and those are people who could help me with something. But they do everything to keep me out. At least that's my impression. Yet they help me nonetheless. They help me once. They help me. Interesting. You can't come, but okay, let's do this. I want to film you. To film people, the most amazing one. I should apologize. I apologize. I miss Nick. I miss them a lot. It's so interesting. And it is. They do exist. They have spaces. They can. They make shows. They are amazing. But why would they not? Show me again, help me do something. <coughs> Anyhow. Wow. Too bad. Because it did end enough. Kind of a loft uh, party. But it got smaller and smaller. And I was with a kind of a new friend I really, really like a lot. And he's so smart, so nice. Darius. He will go a long way. A long way. He will go a long way. He will go a long way. It is so nice when you can go somewhere and you meet somebody. And you discuss things, even if you, if you get to know each other. But if it's not just about business, but if business and friendship are at the horizon, but one just enjoys. I don't know, really nice night that is going to be soon summer. 
and I have seen a few ugly scenes, not too bad, like a homeless with some object. If that gentleman would have freaked out, he could have hit me into pieces. On the other hand, when five more people want to fight, they would beat him dead also. And then we would have a situation for the radio. Who did this, who did that, and that brings me back to where I was. I just can say I was attacked by somebody who lives in a nature building. And I considered him a friend until he was not. And then I was really, really smashed into pieces. Now the conversations were interesting also, which I had with Jay Sanders, the and also his wife, amazing. She was the one who waved me in. Jay and Sarah. They have an amazing place, artists, musicians. in the in the village West Village amazing house once there then before I was at Cairn opening Anton Cairn also a great show about the guy who couldn't fly I loved his work, I always love his work. Yup, Van, no, Eric Van Lissau makes films. That's precisely what I do. I film that one, that one goes up, and my dream goes up, and the context goes up. So that's an archive right there. And so dreams, and the person I speak the most in these days, the most reliable, is Darius Gas, the young man. We keep discussing things, he's amazing. I hope he will find, I'm sure he will find will make the cut soon for a new position. He is so smart, he is amazing, he knows everything. Yeah, so that gives me hope because today I'm gonna spend my day again finishing a painting that's nearly finished and then I start a new one again. One of my new paintings. I think I will go back to one I printed out already. I wanted to do earlier big. One of the uh, Broadway harassment paintings. Make that shit big. Or maybe <clears throat> maybe a zoom painting, a big one with Edgar on it. Last time I did it, I wasted, unfortunately, all the stupid because I don't know how to paint. I learn it, 
I had a Hana helping me from Stuttgart, a Kalimia student of mine who talks to me. Another person still gone, took the money ran. Let's not talk about the money because it's disgusting. I need to make some money. I do need to make some money. I need to find somebody who can show my shit again, a little bit. Otherwise, I become homeless myself. And Paul Gondry from the Gondry family told me, and I agree, I'm this bourgeois capitalist intellectuals. Yeah, I, I am. I have nothing against it. And I said, yeah, for queer, I'm fake. Yeah. Fake poor, it's true. It's true, but But if I sell, then I have a bit of money. And what would I get? Not really much would I get. And then for how long? And then how would I pay maintenance? How would I pay this? How would I pay that? In fact, I tried. I didn't have the money. I couldn't get a mortgage. I have no income, I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyway, there are people who want us to sell the house. I don't, I don't want to give it. I hold on as long as I can. And I can't make those payments because people don't pay me. So I sit on this shit and it goes down the drain. And then, you know, before there was a rock cut, outside, inside, it was really fucking bang, bang, bang. I hate the shit. But I love to dance, so maybe Friday for sure. I will go back in the park a bit earlier. That's what I thought they're gonna do over there, and then I do wanna just go this summer over to Brooklyn and show up and see myself, but it's so far away. Uh, I have been there. Yeah, I mean, it's so fucked up. My sleep is fucked up, my dreams are fucked up, and I am sending John Sanborn Anyway, names came up again, the people who cheated me, and then it is uh, John Sand, I mean, I already forgot saying porn. I mean, it was an amazing decision. A friend of Lori Anderson, and I really, wow, he's a legend in music, and then he has like an archive. Anyhow, it's interesting. Artists and artists, artists, and those people. 
sitting around in those places and me kind of being one of them. Yeah, but currently I just record my dreams and ask what is it meaning and remember there were these beautiful people in it. There were these ideas, there were these, uh, I don't do it, I could do it, I should do it, I would do it, in fact, if I had a space I could make all this shit big happen. But, yeah, I never, it never comes to it. And then I ask myself, what do I do wrong? Yeah. Why this one, not that one? And then why, nonetheless, me, some things happened actually really very much. Comparable, yet. Anyhow. Why not? Bye bye. I posted. I go and need to piss.